Well, today, House members or members of the House Administration Committee raised questions about proposals to prohibit lawmakers from trading stocks. CBS 19's Ann Parker Coleman in the newsroom with more. Ann Parker, this is a topic Representative Abigail Spanberger has been really talking about. Yeah, Dan, that's right. The 7th District Congresswoman introduced the Trust in Cong Congress Act. She says this discussion is a positive step forward, but it's meaningless unless more action is taken. The bill aims to prevent insider trading by members of Congress and has received overwhelming bipartisan support. Spamberger, alongside Texas Representative Chip Roy, first introduced the bill back in June of 2020, following reports of lawmakers in both parties using privileged information to profit off the COVID-19 pandemic. In a press conference this afternoon, uh, President, or excuse me, Representative Spamberger said the bill is a necessary step to regain the public's trust. As long as there continues to be this perception that Congress is putting ourselves first, putting our portfolios first, then there is something we should do affirmatively, and this is it, right? Banning members of Congress from buying and trading stocks. The Trust in Congress Act would require uh, members of Congress, their spouses and their dependent children to place their assets either in broadly traded mutual funds or in a blind trust while in office. Spamber uh, Spamberger remains confident that this will be passed, not only because it is backed by both Democrats and Republicans alike, but because according to a poll, 70% of Americans support this bill and want to see it through as well. In the newsroom, Ann Parker Coleman, CBS 19 News.